All right. I have a controller now. Shall we dive in? Nico. It's a little bit jarring to open up this game and have Nico say my name <laughs> when you turn the game on. I, I think somebody had told me that if you turned this game off during like the original indie version of it, if you turned the game off, then like that was it and I guess everything failed. So I guess one shot, literally you get one shot at playing the game. Fortunately, I guess for the uh, this release, that's not the case. So they managed to make it a little bit, a little bit disconcerting that the kiddo says your name. Oh, you could only safely leave the game at beds in the original? Oh, geez, okay. I'm glad that's not the case here. Do they tell you that? That would be an awfully awful thing to discover the hard way. Oh my god, child! The child said, Lauren? Lauren, can you hear me? And then I can say, yeah. It's interesting that it's yeah and not yes. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Ah, okay, Nick. Well, I'm glad that it did let you know that. Now I wonder if I'll get a different message if I make a point to stay at beds. That would make sense then why when you you sleep in the bed here and then you have a little conversation with Nico, there's the assumption that some time might have passed there. Okay, so when we close the game, everything in the game world goes completely black. And if you closed the game in a previous edition, everything died. So clearly... Well, so they're in an enclosed space that seems to be entirely indoors with the sun being technological and there's a lot of robots and other things that seem technological are they inside my computer. This is not a question for you to answer. This is a question for the game eventually to answer. But it does, I do wonder, like, is this, is this something related to being, like, you know, inside the player's computer? If the player is a part of the story. Because in the never-ending story, Bastion is reading a book. And that book is the story, the never-ending story, in which Atreyu has a quest. Um, and then he goes into the book, and that book is the book that is in our hands. So in a way, we are partaking, like we are a part of the never-ending story. That's kind of what makes it never-ending. Um, is there something like that happening here where instead of it being a book that Bastion is reading, that is a real adventure for the people inside of that book. Is this literally a game in which there's a disconnect, or not a disconnect, but like a direct connection between you, the player? Where, for, from our perspective, we're playing a game, but from the perspective of the characters in the game, this is actually their world. And I'm holding a controller, and they don't know that it's a controller, but they know that they can communicate with me in some way. Um, and so they are a program on my computer that shuts down when my computer shuts down and their world goes dark. The reason why I'm wondering about this is because I actually started writing a book with that as part of the premise. Um, and if I had the capacity to make a game of some sort, I might have wanted to actually make it a game. But that, once you start getting well to media, 
um, the uh, amount of work that needs to go into something and the amount of knowledge and skills and things you're supposed to have, like, it's just <sighs> too much. So I have this sort of half-baked thing um, that that I, it's, it was, <laughs> that's actually, when I say that I started writing a book that was my, my answer to Deltarune, because I don't know if Deltarune's doing something like that. I'm sorry, you just get me dumping some random brain thoughts on you. <laughs> Welcome to Lauren's Streams One Shot and sits on the screen staring at this little kiddo who just stares back. Because the kid is looking right at you. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Maybe someday I'll finish that story. It's actually about a streamer because I don't remember exactly what got me thinking about it, but people are always like, write what you know. But what they really mean usually is write what you know emotionally, like write things that are emotionally real to you so that that reality makes it feel genuine. Um, people interpret that as you should only write about people who have the exact same kinds of experiences that you have, which is boring. Um, but I was like, this is an experience I can write about. And it's really gay. But I uh, I never finished it because I, I didn't, I didn't like one of my characters enough. Because I was feeling too cynical and she was too cynical. Well, everything that you write is going to have a piece of you in it, and every character that you create is going to have some piece of you in it. Um, and you can do that intentionally, or you can do that accidentally, but um, I think it's, I don't think it's possible to write something that comes to life in any capacity without breathing a little of your own soul into it. Even the characters that you hate. <laughs> I don't know. Um, man, sometimes I just want to... Sometimes I just want to talk about writing. <laughs> sometimes I just want to talk about writing and then write. But I haven't been writing. I don't know, man. I guess I talk about writing when I play games sometimes. It's NaNoWriMo. I didn't do NaNoWriMo for the past few days. My therapist told me that I had to do NaNoWriMo, but I didn't keep it up. It's a whole thing. Anyway, one shot. A large light bulb. It's the sun. Like, there's something very significant about that, and my brain wants to try to figure it out, but... Okay, yeah, no, write what you know, I think, also includes, like, know something about the thing you're writing about. If it's based in the real world especially, do, do research. Think about it. If you're writing about people whose experiences are very different from yours, learn about it and also try to frame it in a way that you can understand. But yeah, definitely do research. Not just not just in the context of, for example, writing a character whose culture is not the same as yours, but like even like if you're writing about somebody who's a baker, learn a few things about baking. Because the bakers who read what you write are gonna notice. Sorry, you're still a Vernon. <laughs> you tried really hard, but you slipped up a couple of times. But it's okay. I had fun with the book, and I forgive you. Ursula Vernon definitely cannot be accused of a lack of research. It's just sometimes, sometimes even researching things, you're still going to get a few things not, they're not going to be natural. So there's going to be a few things that are missing or wrong. All right, so we have this bottle of acid and we have the sponge. Thank you, Nick. I, 
I don't know what I was doing in Twilight Princess there, but... <laughs> um... Man, I'm sorry, we've been just sitting here for 15 minutes talking about writing and not talking about... To be fair, I did kind of speculate a little bit about this game. What is the significance of the clovers? Oh, you're probably right, Wooper. That sounds... That, that would be a hint coup of some sort, then probably telling me where I'm supposed to go. I'm really curious what the significance of the clovers is. Because this strange journal, I believe, is what we opened up a document on my screen. Oops, that's the wrong button. If I remember correctly. Ah, that sounds right, Blues. Because the bugs have names, and I'm pretty sure that they do have Romeo and Juliet. I think you're right. I think that was a hint about getting some of uh, Bugatha, whatever her name was. <laughs> her bug collection. Um, shall we progress the story a little bit? Is her name Agatha? No. I thought it had bugs in it for some reason. So I'm trying to remember my controls. I'll wear them when I have to. They're like, we do not trust you, player. All right. Hang in there, Nico says. I'm guessing you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge, Lauren. It's so interesting because there's an interface through which we communicate what we want and Nico has to make sense of an indirect request. And I wonder from Nico's perspective, it's not just a blue streak, my whole hair is blue. <laughs> um, I wonder, from Nico's perspective, how are these requests coming in? Like, this to me feels like this is evidence of the f and in favor of my current hypothesis, which is that the fact that this is a video game inside of my computer is diegetic. I remember the word. <laughs> the voice of God from the sky saying, bottle of acid sponge. Possibly so. I don't know. Good thing I have these gloves. I hope this works. We now have the wet sponge. Which sponge soaked with acidic cleaning solution. All right, hold, hold still. I have no other choice. <laughs> it's really cute you can tell Nico saying hold still there even though it's clear that the robot isn't going to move that is clearly what like Nico's mama must have said to them when washing their face or something like that so their child parroting what they've been said no disco Elysium we're not even close to finishing that's Thursday so this is Tuesday so we are playing one shot. We finished Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And now this is what we're playing. We will be playing Ghost Trick next. Unless I get inspiration to play something else instead. There. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. Oh, happy heart. Yeah, the design looks a lot. Well, the robots here in general. Not the robot, but all of the robots look like cave story robots to me. They've got the little, like, doop doop. Doop doop. And the timing of it would make sense. Like, in that it came sufficiently after cave story. I feel like the robot has... There's, there's the... I think the icon that looks like the, um... 
the um light light bulb on the on their chest as well as like all throughout this area okay i am able to fulfill my purpose again where would you like to go can you take me to the tower calculating closest destination to the tower is the glen port number my built-in navigation circuits have fried sorry we needed a tone of voice change there <laughs> I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. <laughs> Robot understatement delivered in deadpan is classic and delightful. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry that not being able to follow your programming is so uncomfortable. I'm sure that's going to come up again. Aww. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. Okay, I figured we weren't done with her. She will know what to do. All right, our fairy friend, yes. This music's really pretty. It really sounds like something from Secret of Mana. Just looking around. I think I like that song better. This one, frankly, this one sounds oppressive. That one just sounds sad. You know? Like, there's a difference between sadness and despair. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And this feels like despair, and the other one feels like sadness. Yes, look at me. I remembered. I remember the game plan. I cannot go. Aren't you proud of me? You should be very proud of me. I'm proud of me. I've been super sleepy. And I don't think my brain is working right, but apparently that part of my memory is functional. All right, let us go talk to, hold on. Let's talk to her. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower. But it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright. What is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits. Apparently. Lauren and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this then its backup tracking system should activate. Oh! Oh! It's the clover! I really, really, really like the addition of these illustrations. Like, the, the art is pretty. Like, the art is really, really nice. But also, it makes the whole thing a little more immersive. That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Eh. Nico and I are both like... Question mark? I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. Then you gotta come with me! Obviously, come here, come. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Eh? Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you. Amber. 
A piece of glowing amber with a black clover inside. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah! gonna play chess with this baby child well sort of <laughs> that's more like it i've played it with some older kids before then will you play a game with me i mean i don't know the rules very well but i guess it's the least i could do oh you're really good at this thank you it was built into my code ah Somebody created her to be their perfect companion, I guess, including the ability to play chess. And then they left, leaving her behind. So, what's it like being a robot and all? It's all right. They're a child. They're allowed. I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Such an interesting word choice. Watch out. There goes my bishop. <laughs> I love Nico's distressed face. It's so expressive. It doesn't quite work. Like the eyes aren't quite the right size, but that like adds to it. <laughs> Taming is complicated. Oh, how complicated exactly? Dot, dot, dot. There goes my other bishop. <laughs> oh, child. I can't really explain what tamed robots are. Is it like becoming a real boy? Velveteen or Pinocchio style or becoming a, I guess a... Being loved, Velveteen Rabbit style? Is there something significant about this? That would certainly never happen. It would never come up in this story. But I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? Sorry, Nico, you lost your you lost your horsey. Yeah, Nico is very cute and very expressive. Knight. She says, explaining <laughs> explaining the names of the pieces. Horse failure, yes. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. She's a little melodramatic. I like her. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But, checkmate. <laughs> All right, guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Ah, thank you also. Um, you wanna make her dot dot dot? Let's make her dot dot dot. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. I don't know if that's true.
Safety violation. I love how excited. Like, the thing is, like, the combination of Nico's face and this line and the exclamation point, it's the way kids are like, I know the rules. Don't stand on the edge or your arms will get blasted off. Safety violation. <laughs> and that's really cute and reinforces just how little bitty our little bitty kiddo is. <laughs> yes, Osha. So I suspect there may be something that you could do there that I can't do. I'm trying to... I want to be thorough. I am watching over the plants. Okay, you got nothing to say about this. Okay. Like, I want to be thorough and I want to investigate, but also, like, this world is really big and empty. And walking back and forth between things is really slow. So I don't know if I really want to. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anywhere I haven't been. I'm pretty sure that's the very sad note. Or if I can leave. So here's the nothing. It's empty. Alright, they don't say anything about that. Yeah, I just... Walking around is not quite fun enough to subject you all to me going back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, Blue Gloss, that's the thing. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that. Because part of me is like, this is the kind of game where like you, you play it and you play it and you get the gameplay that you get. Um, but I know myself and I know that I will actually go throughout and maybe get frustrated trying to find things. So yeah, okay, hold on. Yes or no, chat hat is out, that means that you may answer this question. Like, yes or no, is there something remaining in this area for me to do right now? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, well, I mean, you do feel like you've got the experience of a small, small, like defenseless little child. Docs, that's what we want. In this big old world and a little bit of you. It's actually a pretty small world, but you're even smaller. Alright, let's talk to this fella. Dot, dot, dot. Oh! All the music so far has been very dreamlike. And these like little like dream almost xylophony sounds really contribute to that. This is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait, this boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh, well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and gloves. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. Did Nico just throw them into the water? <gasps> yeah, that looks a lot like, um, like, quote... Oh my gosh, look at this cute baby. Staring with wide eyes at the world around them. The art is really nice. Here is your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. 
Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Uh, are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Okay, the floaty, spory stuff in the air makes me nervous. Maybe we should have hung on to that gas mask. So I have a vague, vague memory, this vague impression of some sort of a bird or a bird person or something. Maybe it's in this area. Because there's greenery. But the greenery doesn't look natural. It doesn't look right. I guess what light they have is bioluminescence from the floating dust in the air. And I guess maybe those spore blobs and maybe the greenery of the floor underfoot. But again, all of this feels very like artificially made. I'm just, I feel like even at its healthiest, this world might be not organic. This is my, my guess. We'll see. Let's walk into this room and hopefully not die. Water looks pretty clear. It's very hollow and empty. I like the shading on the walls. It's very effective. They want you to be able to envision what this place looks like in a way that walking around it in 2D space just doesn't get across. And again, the music is really sad and lonely and dreamy. Oh, 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 that's a person. That is some sort of a person. Are you a... Is that a feather on your head? I'm catching fireflies for mommy. That's a, that's another kiddo. Okay. It's probably good they took the crowbar away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I might have to teach Nico some property damage. <laughs> property damaged. Yes, yeah, not allowed. These look like crab shells. Oh, oh, I can look inside. Okay. Filled with small dried fish. It's full of fish heads. These are filled with small dried fish. Are they bird people? Don't tell me. Oh my God. If they're bird people, then good job, Lauren's memory. <laughs> A few small fish are in the bottom of this jar. Guess that's all there is to eat here and clovers. Well, let's talk to the people and see what happens. Hmm, nothing's biting. It's not good. I'm sorry. There was a time where our people used to live in these ruins, but due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? I. the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know. But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Oh. A fishing pole. An empty jar. A jar of worms. Gross! <laughs> Bye, Bubba's. Well, thanks for dropping by. It was good to see you. I love that Nico objects to the 
bucket of worms. It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. It's a fish stew. Warm coals. These are filled with small dried fish. Okay, so like all they can eat is fish. There's nothing but fish. And they sleep on mattresses rather than permanent beds. So these are ruins. Hold on, we're gonna continue investigating. Can I get over to that person over there? So everything is coming apart. The world is dying. And perhaps a child from the outside world has to come and give the world a new name, a new light bulb, you know, same difference. Sorry, the sound. Like, something about the sound of this is just a little strange. It just, it, this looks like where I'm supposed to go. Let's not go there. Oh, the instrumentation sounded a little bit different up there. We're going to go south because it told me to go north. That is... Wait. The jar is full of fireflies. Okay, so they're not shrimps, they're fireflies. Okay. And that is what is keeping this place lit as well. This will have a blocking. Alula? Does that person have four eyes? I feel a little afraid of this. Alula, where did you go? Lauren, did you hear that? Alula, I think it's coming from southeast of here. This, these trees look creepy. Hey, you there. Okay, okay. There's a mask with the eyes. This kid has a detailed face. Maybe this kid will either be my companion in this section. Um, help me get through this. Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you and... Wait, that's the sun. Are you our savior? To be able to ask that question in all earnestness. I... Yeah? Oh my stars! Look at that face! Look at that face! Oh my gosh! Also, they're totally all bird people in some capacity. I'm so amused that I remembered a bird person or there's a bird or something. <laughs> my memory, man! I don't understand! Sorry for my rudeness. Huh? It's all right. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. That's not good. I hope nobody's like kidnapping children. I've been looking all over, but what does she look like? Uh, a little shorter than you. Long blue hair. Two blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Nico's like, I know how to find lost children. I've been a la lost child who has had to be found. Back inside the ruins? Children. She said she was heading towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. Do they, they have bird feet. They have bird feet. They have bird leggies, don't they? They have bird leggies and feathery hands. Oh my god, they're adorable. I want their. I hope there's fan art of them. Bird feet to accomplish bird feats. Yes, feats of bird. Here's another bird we gotta go talk to. Somehow. They got little chicken leggies. Hello. This is the best fishing spot I've found yet. 
All the fish I catch here are longer than my arm. Good for you. Way to go, fishing buddy. You gotta check everything out. Even though I don't know that there's actually, like, things that are missable. Well, we're definitely gonna have to go find that kid's sister. Oh, there's a lot of... <gasps> Wait. Wait. That's the same kind of robot that we had, and it was friendly then, so maybe it's friendly now. This door... The doorway is full of vines, Lauren. <laughs> well, we'll have to find a way to do something about that. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in this scroll first. All right. Do you have a pen? Um. No, I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. All right. They won't let the messiah in without a pen. <sighs> Hello, robot. Hello, person. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. Sorry, I don't really usually do voices, but this one is such fairy tale that I'm fine. It, it, it's more storybook. This is a very storybook game, and so we're getting more voices than I usually do. I hope that's all right. A cluster of vines are blocking the way. Actually, it should be a cluster is. Sorry, Nico. The flooding is strange. It's very arbitrary. There's a computer. I don't know if I should talk to the computer yet. I feel like I should maybe have explored more before I talk to the computer. Cause I bet that's, I bet that's going to be plot progression of some sort. Then again, I am here to progress the plot and play the game. Well, no, I have to have the pen. I have to get a pen. So there's things. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Okay, so that would be the kid I met and the sister. Oh! <gasps> they have a whole... Dryad. Is it the savior? I can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Nico is very concerned. Are you all right? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could. It's okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But the sun, I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I, will it make you better? No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I, well. Oh, would it? Would it be too selfish of me to ask? <sighs> I 
I want to give it to her. Even if it's just for a little while. I think Nico does too. And of course then we run the risk of like, what if you give it to her and then you can't save the world because you wanted to try to make one dying person feel a little bit better on their deathbed. But I don't know if One Shot wants me to think too hard about that. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Even if it turns out that that's a bad idea, even if it turns out that it's dangerous or selfish or whatever. Sorry, Nico, but we're going to operate based on feelings here and take a risk so that we can try to be kind. All of these vines are really... Like, something doesn't seem right, and I suppose that's probably part of what is killing her. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm doing things out of order. I'm going to miss the opportunity to, uh, to see everything there is in the game, but that's fine. I want to help her. What should I do, Lauren? Sorry, folks. Uh, if this is the wrong answer, I'm picking it with my whole heart anyway. And I will live with the consequences. I will give her the sun. Here. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The, the vine should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. anymore. Thank you. It's the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. It really does feel pretty scary to not have it, you know? Hello, person. Two children reside. Oh, yes, we talked to you already. Well, shall we go talk to the ominous computer? Since we're down here and we saw the ominous computer. This looks like a thing that you should, like, stand on and, and something happens. But this is not intentional flooding. This is not how this place is supposed to be, so... So you may not have noticed, but the uh, background has changed. This is why you folks wanted this, isn't it? That is that symbol. No more Locke and Sully's kissing. It's uh, the light bulb symbol. It seems I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? I assume, actually, they must be talking about the light bulb. The most easily accessible thing is the desktop, obviously. Yes. You'll know what to do with it then. 
I assume what they're saying is that you need the light bulb to progress. Oh, let me move the mouse out of the way. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. That's no good. Darn it. Ah! I'm not very good at making puzzles like this work. We go. Oh, my background became normal again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's adorable. Oh my god, she's adorable. She has a really cute little theme too. Look at her little smiley. She's got a little smiley face. Thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. So are you a Lula? You knew my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh, Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? What's... What? Uh, how? Okay. Wait a minute. How did you know that I was the, um, Messiah? Because I don't have the light bulb right now. Oh, you're right. This window gets kicked down a bit. Okay, we can do that. Okay. I don't have a son with me. Your eyes, huh? They reminded me of the sun. Oh, that's why you're our messiah, right? Well, I, a lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah, I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world too? I, yeah. Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay. You're here now. You can make everything better. Look at that little smile. What a wholesome little child. Yeah, no pressure. Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at these baby children. Look at these baby children. Do you see the cuteness of these baby children? We have like a seven-year-old leading a four-year-old around. This is a bad idea. Do you see how cute they are, Renovin? Look at this tiny baby child being led by a slightly less tiny baby child. I am so delighted about this little kid. They are so cute. Nico is really cute and really wholesome. All right. Hello, robot. Hello, person. Please do note the... Okay, we already... Oh. Should we not be here? 
Okay, so the kids shouldn't be living here. But they're living here for some reason, even though it's not advised. Alright. Have you found something to write with? Yes. No, I have not. What's in here? Oh! Oh, it's a special bed! With the light bulb symbol on it. Let's do this, shall we? These apparent safe save points from the uh, from the original version of the game. I can't sleep now, Lauren. I need to get Alula to her brother first. Okay, fine. Fine. Plot progression. Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh my god. He's really adorable too. Oh my god. Yeah. Nico is really short, and this kiddo is even shorter. He's got the symbol on his chest. The same symbol. Calamus! Lula, you're okay! Thank goodness. I was trapped inside this room, and it was really scary, but then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah, there was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? That's not good. The nothing. I'm pretty sure it's like the nothing. It's something. Maybe it's a computer virus, if my theory that they're all in a game world or computer of some sort is correct. We'll see. The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Just, I love her little, like, perfect smiley. It's just so cute. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. All right, I had kind of guessed as much, but good to have it confirmed. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them, too. They do have four eyes. The eyes on the bird face squint when the eyes on the person face squint. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it, would it not be rude to call you by name? Oh my god, the adorable child. Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Uh, then would you like to visit our house, Nico? Oh my god, he's got just a little smiley. I'm sorry, they're very cute. You have to deal with me talking in this is a cute voice. Obviously, yes, I would like to visit their house. Yay! See, did you see, did you see her eyes? Her eyes, both sets of eyes, they, they look the same. That's unsettling, but adorable. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Looks like we can't get past that block. Oh, seriously? <laughs> I'll be up ahead. Oh my god. And thus, Nico is taught property damage not by Lauren, but by another child. I am innocent. I would never. That's a lie. That's not true. Oh my god, Nico. Nico's like, I could have done that all along. I have literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't far from here. I did notice some squares in another doorway, though, which is somewhat concerning. <gasps> so, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. <laughs> what is that kid up to? I love her. I love her. Ah, there it is. Here, we want you to have this.
Look at how cute and happy she is to be handing that over. She's so proud. Okay, so they, they, are they bird suits? I can't tell, I probably shouldn't be asking. But there's just so much cuteness. And the art, it just, it feels like a storybook. I really enjoy it. Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. Oh, yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. Sounds like I'm gonna have to go find her. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her father's to to feathers. She gave one of her feathers to father, not one of her father's to feather. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not my fault. Those words are practically the same thing. <laughs> Before she died, oh. Okay, I guess we probably won't be meeting with her. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Uh, are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what father would have wanted. Look at his serious. He's like, hmm, yes. Father would have wanted that. Like, this is not a frown of unhappiness. This is a frown of seriousness because these are children. They're baby children. It's really cute. Thank you. It's good to be home again. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen, but once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might already be too late to save her. I know. But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. Okay, so that definitely seems there's three beds I'm sorry kids stuffed box it's a plush toy that's mine our friend gave it to me last year oh yeah, he has a fox, too, and she can even talk. Oh my god, do you see the sparkles? This is, like, maximum excitement. This child is, like, vibrating with enthusiasm. What? I know, I thought she was the coolest thing ever. So he got me a fox plush for Solstice Day. Oh, see, sun is significant to their world. Oh, that's nice of him. He's the best. Jars full of dried fish. Jar full of worms. She didn't say, or they didn't say ooh to this time. Jars full of beans. Oh, they can eat some things that aren't. The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. It's a fishing pole. Do you like fish, Nico? Yeah. So do we. They're good in stews or soups. But I know some people back home who like to eat them raw. Sushi. I had sushi over the weekend because a friend was visiting. I mostly eat vegetable sushi, but I also eat crab, so I can eat like California rolls and stuff. I just I don't eat fish. Ew. Yep. That's adorable. I just I love this that like they're on the same level. They're kiddos, all of them. Fireflies. Looks like spoiled food. Oh no, I guess that's what happens if you leave your house for three days. <laughs> he looks so embarrassed. That's really cute. Look at his expression. Coals. They're cold now. Alright, kiddos. Jars full of dried moss. Oh, Chris would have fun eating it, I mean. Good to be home again. I hope the squares don't spread too fast. <gasps> hey, 
I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Same. So is this hers and this his? It's really pretty. It feels like there's actually sunlight out here. I don't know if it's because it's so dark inside that by comparison. The music's really nice though. Sorry, I'm just really enjoying this piano. This is the courtyard. It's got water and stuff. There's an entrance to an underground passage here. It's flooded though. Ah, this must be the entrance to the underground passage. I see. It looks like it used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way getting there now, remember? There isn't a boat and none of us can swim and... What's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit mom. Well, her grave anyway. Oh. Wait, how do you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us sometimes he takes us along. Oh my god, voices. This is the danger of having voices is that you'll realign from the wrong voice. Anyway, I'm sorry, I know I don't usually do voices, and I said I wasn't gonna do voices. It's just really hard to resist the temptation to do voices for this. Even my little bitty bit of voices. But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish we could see mom again. Nico, are you thinking about what it would be like to lose your mom? Come on, Alula. Let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay. Long and slender feather with glowing edges. A piece of glowing amber with a black clover inside. And a journal with a black clover on the outside. I'm sure these things will be significant. Oh, a bell. And a ball. It's a ball. That's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Does it just need to be inflated? Well, they're drawing fish. Fish! Fish! <laughs> like, it just, that right there, that kind of exchange reinforces that they're kids. So instead of you being, like, a normal age protagonist, like, being annoyed by the kiddo, like, you're, like, meeting her where she is. Like, she's clearly younger than Nico. Um, and, and a little less mature than Nico, but at the same time, they are on the same page, you know? In a way that's actually really interesting. An unusual. Oh, are you leaving now? It was nice to meet you. Really, thanks for everything. Oh, are you leaving now? Good luck, Nico. We believe in you. <laughs> it's closed. Oh, I should probably take these in soon. <laughs> He's so embarrassed. I'm sorry, it's just... They're really sweet and wholesome and I don't want anything to happen to them. Having... Having children, relatable characters, um... makes the potential destruction of this world more horrifying and something you care more about stopping. Like... Most of the robots are 
kind of resigned to their fate. And the one robot, Silver, who has a name and personality, um, she seems pretty depressed and also resigned to her fate. Um, and she's, she comes across as an adult with a tragic backstory. And so an adult with a tragic backstory um, waiting up until the end of the world and then passing with the world is a more tolerable and acceptable kind of tragedy versus two sweet young children who are innocent and playful. Um, like, I don't want any harm befalling Silver, but if the plot decided that something needed to happen to her, it would feel like a beautiful tragic story point. Um, but these kids having their lives at stake is like, like that's like, that's too much. That, that, we can't let that happen. Um, but it's also, they're also not played up for like the, like they're allowed to be funny and charming and, and, and playful. Like Nico doesn't think about, oh, this is, you know, Nico doesn't think, oh gosh, I can't let anything bad happen to anybody because they're a small child too. Um, but, uh, so, 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 so it's not maudlin. It's not trying too hard to pull at your heartstrings, but it's effective. And I like that. Like, I don't want anything to happen to Silver. But it would be... I do have to point out that the children talked about their dad as an active person. They talk about their mom having passed and been put in the resting place. Um, their home has two, has three beds, and this robot says two children live here, which indicates, I think, that their dad is missing or possibly outright lost. The vines receded. Do you know what happened? I found this plant person. She was barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but she said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. What's through here? Oh, just a shortcut, huh? <gasps> oh, what? There's a sheepy. Okay, is that an actual sheepy or is that a person making a sheepy sound? Oh, it went away. It had a second sheepy sound there, though. A couple of fireflies are buzzing around in this jar. You seem to be missing an eye, friend. Hey, uh, you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Lauren? We do not, in fact. It's a wagon stuffed with stuff. It sure is. <laughs> so they're reading, they're, they're, they're speaking their dialogue out loud. I like this. I like this character. Whoa, that's a lot of shiny things. Glass shards, glass marbles, empty glass bottles, mostly empty glass bottles, glass bottles filled with different things, bits of string, colored wool, plain wool, fabric scraps, a rusty bucket, scrap metal, shells, some rocks. What's all this for, by the way? I just think they're neat. That's cute. Yes, it is. It is. It is like a bird collecting shiny things. <laughs> the sheepy is having some trouble. <laughs> oh. 
Um... <laughs> oh my god. I think you're supposed to talk to a bunch of different normal sheepies. So that when you're like, is something wrong with this sheepie? It sounds like it's got like effects on it. It sounds cursed. That is a cursed sheep. Sorry, we have to talk to all of the sheep. You understand, right? Right? So you know how it is. You gotta talk to all the sheepies. Okay, let's talk to this person with glasses. It's a firefly jar. <clears throat> it's funny, the first couple of times that they see a jar filled with fireflies, they'll say it's a jar filled with fireflies. And then when they seem to become aware of um, the fact that firefly jars are a thing, they'll just be like, oh, that's, just, that's a firefly jar. That's what it's called. It's a shrimp jar. It's a firefly jar. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward for, in store for you, I promise. I don't know if I trust you with your creepy glasses and your, like, glasses, glasses guy pose. Uh, sure. Yes, excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. There's a peninsula? This is it. The light from these lanterns will have to do for now. I'm starting to see some very small sprouts. It will probably take some time for these to bear fruit. I need to not step on them. Jars of fireflies are placed next to the fields. Small sprouts. I gotta be careful I don't step on these. Yes. This ram is chewing on a ball of moss. Now I'm curious. <laughs> is Toby Fox inspired by this game? What do you think they taste like, Lauren? The moss, not the ram. I suppose I could just eat one, but you know what they say about curiosity and the cat. <laughs> Are you telling us you're a cat? Not that I'm a cat. <laughs> That's adorable. Can I go in these houses? No. Your eyes glow in the dark. Yeah. Just like the sun. <laughs> this jar is full of milk. Milk makes you grow taller. That's what Mama always says. There's just something like, just reminding you that Nico is a child. A jar full of small rocks. empty jar. It's a nice sounding chime. <coughs> this jar is full of dry beans. Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water become indistinguishable here. That is a bad point. I mean, it's a good point, but it's a bad thing. Dry beans. Milk. This jar is full of milk. It smells nice. <gasps> I can go into this house. Just a jar. 
It's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. It's some kind of stew. Coals. Some jars. Fireflies light up this room. Okay. So I can go into more of these houses. Ah! Coals. Some kind of stew. Probably fish stew. Jars. Oh my gosh. Uh, this person is spinning in circles. Are they also going to go blah? You're going to get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. Behind the tower. Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. Oh, it's a lighthouse. I want to see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. Hmm. So if Grandpa says this to a kid, then that probably means it's been a generation since there was light. That's not good. Peas. Oh. Full of dried beans. Okay. So they've got their mattresses. They've got their fireflies. Alright. Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get too close, though. Squares? Squares, man. They're bad news. <laughs> Sorry, the writing. It's, like, it's a, it's a serious thing within the context of the game world, but also it's a little bit silly. Daddy says the world is very sick, but Lauren can make it better again. I'm glad I changed the name from not. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Are you Lauren? Uh, not really. I'm just the messiah they sent. I can talk with Lauren, though. Look at this. Look at this happy, bright-eyed child. Wow. What's that like? Really cool? Aww. Well, it could be that the tower stopped turning long before the sun turned off, which I guess would make sense if the world has been in decline. Fish heads and tails. Yeah, it's adorable that Nico likes me. I mean, they kind of have to say positive things because I'm overhearing everything they say. But... Go through there. Are there houses I haven't been in? People I haven't talked to? Probably. It's slowly being chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive, I think. The moss? Doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. Looks like moss. I guess people eat those. Huh. I guess so. Well, what is the root of the problem then, huh? Huh? The land is fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses to the intruding sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. You get the feeling that would not be the first time that had happened. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Savior, you have to hurry. I, I'll do my best. It's a lot of pressure to put on a child's shoulders. <clears throat> oh. Uh, 
Oh, did I do that wrong? I did. Okay. Oh, it's one of these kinds of puzzles. Okay, got it. I think I did that wrong. Hold on, let's see what we can do here. I'm not sure. Oh, I did it. I did do it wrong. Okay, hold on. We're going to try this again. I'm going to push you down there. Okay, we're going to try this again. Okay. I think I can get this. Yeah, I think I can do this. I can do this. I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. This feels like I got it. Yeah, I think I got it. I think we got it. I think we got it, folks. Bum, 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 bum. What is that melody? What what victory sound is that? I I've heard that before. I swear to God, I've heard those same notes. Yes, it's a victory fan ba. Does anyone know? Cause that is the bum 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 bum. Like the the the. I know I know that I know that it's from something. I don't know what it's from, but it's from something. <clears throat> anyway, I'm really proud of myself for that one. I can promise you that Lauren back in 2017 would not have been able to get it that fast because Lauren in 2017 had not yet played the Talos Principle, which causes one to think about spatial reasoning and where you're putting things in what order. Okay, well, it's going to bother all of us, and we've heard it before. Then I, I hope somebody will come and bring the news when we finally figure out what that is. <laughs> well, but if it's a common fanfare, then why can't we think of what it's from? All right. Well, meanwhile, glasses, kid says, you've provided a great service for all of Ram Guys. <laughs> In return, take this fine Ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. That was very cool. Weird. Oh, this looks important. This looks like an altar. I guess I'm probably supposed to put the sun there at some point. A pair of shoes and some jewelry. Some kind of cloak or shawl folded neatly. This must be the, um, <clears throat> the prophets. It's a staff. Reminds me of the one that robot from the barons was holding. Prophet bot? It's an orb. The material looks like amber. Yes, YouTube commenters, if you know what that's from, please report back. It's not Secret of Mana, is it? 
<clears throat> these look like herrings. Nico has correctly identified. Like a lot of the rest of these have just been like fish. And then this one is herrings. Why do you why are you aware of this one particular kind of fish, but all other fish is just fish? Or anchovies? Okay, maybe not. Are herrings little? I know anchovies are little. Maybe sardines. Okay. I honestly have no clue. <laughs> They're trying. Okay. Well, it's okay. I wouldn't know either, Nico. I don't know fish. The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. That's fair. Yes, Nico was trying to impress me. <laughs> Pretending they knew something that they didn't. And I almost bought it. They could have said, these are herrings that are owned from like, oh, okay. Joku, thank you for following. Welcome. Yeah, and I'm sorry my voice is really rough. For some reason, it's been really rough lately. And like, I know I talk a lot when I stream, um, but I feel like it started off rough. You know? So, who knows? Hey, uh, you here to trade? Trade? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> With the eye, the stitched up eye, this, this kiddo makes me think of... Makes me think of, of Sham. <laughs> Sham's shop. I suppose I could give this wool. The wool says this is kind of useless. So I guess I could trade it. Uh, yeah, sure. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? It's a thoughtful face. That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what this is actually. Some sort of fabric dye? Hmm. How about it, Lauren? I don't know if there's a right answer or a wrong answer. I don't know. <clears throat> it's not three bags full, unfortunately. Um. 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 I have no reason not to. I have no idea why it would make a difference. I don't know what I would dye. There's probably something. I could dye the sheep. If this were loom, I could dye the sheep so the dragon doesn't take them and instead the dragon would take me and then a whole sequence of events would follow. But <clears throat> this is not loom. Sure, I have no reason to not, so let's go ahead and take the offer. I'll do it. Pleasure doing business. Bottle of dye. A small vial filled with dark blue liquid used for dyeing wool. Okay. There's probably some reason why I need that. <clears throat> I just don't know what it is yet. We'll find out. Is she still? Oh. Wait, the sun is out. Oh, that's not good. Well, I suppose we'll have to fix that or else we have the bad ending. I guess we'll find out. The, the light's gone out. Lauren, do you know what happened? No, it's the only answer I can give. You, really? But... But, oh, this poor kiddo. What am I gonna do? 
Oh. It lit up again. Whew. She's gone. Oh. There's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn. It's a seed child. She must have left it behind. Yeah. It's a seed apparently left behind by Maze. Well, her name is Maze, so I suppose that makes sense. Well, I'm glad that she was able to be comfortable in her last moments, at least. Even if we, uh, weren't able to save her. Which does kind of seem to be what the game is setting you up for. You know, the... The whole setup with this is that it is... The world, like Maze, is too far gone for you to actually save it. But you can maybe give the people a little comfort. Before the end. And then I guess the question is, like, is it worth it? You know? Wait, they have another book with a clover on the cover. It's a book with a clover on the cover. No, no, Nico, I need you to look at it. I have one of those. Now I gotta go find those kids and show them my book. Oh, I guess maybe I missed my chance to ask them about the book. Well... That's no good. Well, maybe we'll get the bad ending because I was not observant enough. Oh, and I bet that that would be text that we could read outside of the game, too. Oh, well, you only get one shot. I also missed the chance to do whatever was in the mine back in the Barrens. So we won't get the best story. It happens. This looks like an altar. Let's see. Hmm. I think I've spoken to everyone because I feel like I should put the light on the altar. Nobody's asked me to do it yet, but I feel like I should. You know? Hmm. Bringing a bit of sunlight back. Well, I suppose what can it hurt? We'll see if we're able to do it. Uh, light bulb. Oh, well, I guess I don't get to do that. All right. Then I guess... Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I put the, the feather? Can't combine those. There's a whole lot of anticlimactic, a whole lot of not of not being able to put these things together. So, hmm, let's see. I'm trying to figure out. 
I don't know what else I can do. Ah. I have the light. their character designs they're really cute wait so this just takes me back to where the dryad was all right let's see if I can figure out what to do next can I oh right I'm inside Man, I'm actually kind of bummed that I didn't see that. This is one of those things that I know that... So I'm not usually like a completionist where I'm like, oh no, I missed the opportunity to do a thing. But the one thing that I do get bummed about is when I miss uh, story things, you know? I guess we can save and have a moment. Right, we still need to go into that other area. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. We'll go through here. We'll sleep in the bed. And figure out where to go from here. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. The game is closed. We're going to open it again. Well, I guess I have to open it up manually. Well, you have to admire the fact that Locke and Sully's are smooching on my screen. Here we go. Oh, this is the same dream that Nico had last time. Oh, they're so cute. What do you see, friend? Oh, that must be their town. Lauren, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah. <laughs> I was in a big field like the one in my last dream. And I saw my village. But then I woke up. Uh, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? That's a good question, Nico. I don't know. Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Lauren? I have, in fact. Oh, there's music. Music is really lovely. Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. Okay, so lichens aren't a plant. Okay, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad that somebody is here with the science. It's like an ocean of food. <laughs> oh, this kiddo. Oh, wait, but there's food in regular oceans, too. I was going to say, Nico. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I've been to the ocean. 
I love the ocean. I can't swim, but I love the ocean very much. That's really cool, Lauren. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. Okay, so now we know that they are from a world where there's TV. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. Oh my god. Look at their excited eyes. Oh my gosh. Their excited eyes are so cute. <laughs> Maybe a little demented. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. Ah, oh, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Lauren. It's a little hard to imagine that now after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. I also used to need a nightlight when I was a kid. I was very scared of the dark. Now I can't sleep with a nightlight. I don't know when that changed. So I can either say me too or it's good you got over that. I'm going to say me too because I want to be supportive of Miko. Not tell them that they need to grow up. Really? Even though you're a god? Yeah. I see. I'm sorry. The fact that it's yeah instead of yes. I have to read it in that tone of voice every time. Oh, but it's a good thing I got over that fear. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So thanks for that. Oh, kitty smile. I'm sorry, Nico. I don't think I deserve this confidence. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Lauren. Okay, well. Oh, I have, I have die. I could use that die to write my name, potentially. I don't have a pen. Oh, it's the kiddo. Oh, this is just the village that I was in. Got it. Okay. Woo! Is that the sun? Yeah! And you're holding it? Isn't it hot? Not really. It's nice and warm. This is the same village that I was in earlier, right? Yeah, there's the sheepies. Okay. Alright, I need to stretch my arms over my head and I suggest you do the same. Arms up, up, all the way up. Oh my goodness. That is way harder than it should be. To one side. Oh. And then to the other side. Oh. <sighs> Roll your shoulders out a little bit too while you're at it. That feels much better. Oh wait, so people used to live here. This is where I came from. Got it. It's a silly little bird kid. Just like I'm a silly little cat kid. Well, I'm not. Nico is. This game makes a clear distinction between the two. Alright, if we go this way. Oh, sorry. I've been really, really sleepy today. Have you found something to write with? Uh... Oh yeah, we can use the feather as a pen. I saw it in a picture book once. This seems kind of sacrilegious. I found a pen, sort of. Good, please write your name here. Nico. Good luck. Hmm. <gasps> what 
in the world? Jump square. I guess we don't get to go back now. Whew. Hopefully they'll be okay. This is not sound right. I hope my friends are okay. It's glitching out the same way that the written document that I had was glitching out. Is, is it trying to encourage me to go forward by keeping me from going backwards? How am I in the city already? I guess I'm done with that section of the game. This is a good song. Am I am I missing things other than obviously the book? Yes, I am, if I am. <sighs> no, I think we're just gonna have to deal with my, uh, we're just gonna have to deal with my gameplay, such as it is, whether it's, whether I'm missing things or not. the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. But what is it a refuge from? Do you understand what you must do here? I do not. I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I suspect there's more to it than that. I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta go down a lot of stairs. Or find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Yeah, I thought that I went completely off track in the Glen. Like, I thought that progression was to the north, and so I went to the south. And then that wound up getting me wrapped up in the plot, apparently. The silly sheet puzzle was required. Oh, I guess it was, wasn't it? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I assumed it was not because I got, I, I, I could see how it could be really annoying. So I'm usually really slow at playing through games, um, and I'm usually really thorough and I don't worry a lot about having missed things, but, and this is probably not something that I share in common with 2017 Lauren. I suspect 2017 Lauren probably poked and prodded at everything five times. Um, one shot as a game doesn't feel good. The world is dying around you. Everything is sad and dark and the music is wistful at best or outright full of despair. Uh, there's a lot of emptiness and nothingness in the world around you. And so where I might 
normally feel like I should go around and look at everything and talk to everything and investigate everything more than once. Um, there's something really, for, for all that this game is really cute, for all that the, uh, the characters are really cute and the character designs are really cute, there is something kind of oppressive about this game because its world is dying and it feels like its world is dying. And on some level, that makes me really resistant to spend longer in it, if that makes sense. Like, I feel bad because I, I feel like at the peak of my Laurenhood, I should be able to comfortably and confidently blast through, like, whatever feelings of discomfort I have and explore everything. Um, and, and really dig in, but instead I'm just sad, and the game makes me sad, and I'm already depressed, so it's not... It's not something that I have any armor against, and therefore it's not something that I'm comfortable playing more of, which is kind of a shame because I was really looking forward to playing this cute sweet game that I remember being like feeling attached to my first time through but I, I obviously have forgotten a lot of whatever I did experience because I know I was in this location I think um and uh I know people were really excited to see me play it and I'm sorry that what I'm getting out of it is that it is cute and I am sad but that's mostly what I'm feeling right now Maybe, maybe Lauren in a different state of mind would, would get something different from it, but maybe this is just a sign that I should just not play games that are really sad right now. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry that my, we, we waited five years for my one shot playthrough. Um, and instead we get this. I'm sorry. I don't want to let you all down. I know folks were excited about it. Um, but... I guess all I can do is offer what I can offer. And I think what I have to offer is being really sad. <laughs> and I'm not, I don't mean to put you all on the spot of reassuring me. It's just, uh, it feels a little strange to me to be going quickly through a game when I'm known for not going quickly through a game and everyone's like, oh, it's gonna take you like a whole month to get through this, which it might, um, but it's just really sad and I'm really sad and I don't wanna spend time in the sadness. And the Glen is noticeably less sad than the Barrens and it's less abandoned and everything, but there's still something about it that makes it really hard to be there so okay Nick well if I'm not the only one who feels this way um, then hopefully that's not too not too disappointing for everyone <laughs> but thank you for being here anyway the tower is a sacred place finding the entrance may be easy but that alone will not be enough what do you mean once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. All right, thank you. Off you go then, I wish you luck. This is the most human sounding of these robots. I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. Only the bearers of the sacred kernel is permitted access to the garden kernel. Kernel is a computer thing, in addition to being corn. They could be making a clever, a clever pun, a clever reference, a clever bit of wordplay, at least if pun isn't the right word. If there is a not good ending, because like, okay, if there's like a bad, bad ending where just like the world dies or Nico dies or something like that happens, if that's a thing, um, but if there's another, if there's a neutral ending, basically, then it would be you give the world back the sun 
and that brings them comfort in their last days. But then there would be a true ending in which you're actually able to restore the world somehow. That's what I see in front of me anyway. A kernel in computing is the core of an operating system? I have a feeling that this game is about being inside a computer, being a computer game, being something like that. So bringing back the core of the operating system that was the plant lady, basically. Uh, I, I, that I can see being significant. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Hold on. That's the wrong button. Oh, like a kernel of corn? I... I have, I have a kernel of corn. Is this the kernel you're talking about, friend? I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady in the glen. Dot, dot, dot. That is indeed the kernel. Then it is your duty to regrow her. Do you understand what you must do? Um, no, I don't. Please tell me. Take the seed to the garden. Plant it in the pot in the center. You may now pass through here to access the garden. I mean, we've got to go down to the surface, but... <sighs> we... Wow. There's just a missing hole there. Okay. It's probably going to be a bunch of things we can't do because I didn't get all the optional stuff. Safety violation. The pot in the center. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is the garden, huh? Shaped like a light bulb like everything else. Oh, I'm sorry, Violet. Seed apparently left behind by Maze. Let's do this. Time to put the seed in the planter. There's no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? I don't have any water with me, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to, uh... You're gonna have to, have to... Hydrate yourselves, though. I wonder whether... Okay, foster check. That's fair. I need to sit upright. I wonder whether the plant will only grow if you have things from all of the areas or something like that. Come on! Oh, I wonder if this is going to be their friend with the flying machine. Come on! Work already! Huh? What was that? <laughs> There's an arrow telling me which way to go. Oh, it's the elevator you're waiting on. Oh, geez. That has the squares. Nope. I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa. Do you have a red eye? You're you. Oh, jeez, I didn't think I was going to run into. This is embarrassing. Do you have scruffy facial hair, too? Are you a scruffy person? Uh, is there uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. Right now, the elevator is the only way to access the surface, but yeah, just take a look at it. It, it looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but <laughs> well observed, Nico. Go look at the button panel. Does it have squares on it? Huh? There aren't any buttons. Yep, that's a problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out. 
or something. These are really expressive faces. I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. Maybe it exploded. Do you think we'll have to make a new one? Nico is immediately thinking about solutions. Thank you, child. What? How? We'll figure it out. All right. All right, that says no. That says no. An mostly empty cafe. Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally, cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. That's dangerous. Let's hope that you don't fall down with those. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. It's an empty coffee tin. A coffee machine. It's nearly full. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not in coffee. Am I gonna plant the seed in coffee grounds? Probably. I probably did it all out of order. It's fine. Wait, can I talk to her again? You know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I've seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He, um, he didn't get it. <laughs> oh no. I see him around a lot, but he never seems to have time to eat a proper meal. He kind of just rushes in here, drinks a whole pot of coffee, and then rushes back out. He, uh, he really takes his job to the extreme. I mean, it's an important job, but nothing is worth that amount of stress, I think. What does he do? Maintenance, I believe. Something to do with the lights, but I don't know the details. Maybe you can ask him later. Oh, you're still here. Would you, um, like anything? I can cook something for you if you want. It's alright, thank you. Well, don't be afraid to ask if you do get hungry. I'll be happy to make something for you. Okay, so you can talk to people repeatedly. I've tried that. I felt like a lot of times it didn't go anywhere, but maybe I'm mistaken. The piano is just a little bit detuned in some places. Do you think you'll be able to make that button? Well, no pressure, kid. I'll just stick with my original plan for now. Time to kick the door again. My foot hurts. I'm losing so much time. Probably five minutes of work already. I hate this. I wonder if he actually responds to the amount of time that it takes you to do things. Oh. Another sleep spot. I'm going to do the sleep spot. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. Alright, here we go again. Oh, it's their mom! Oh, 
pancakes. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. It's so happy. And they clearly miss their mama. Oh. Lauren, I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. She made me pancakes. Oh my god. Look at the happy little child eyes. I mean, to be fair, pancakes are really incredible. My mama, my mom gave me a thing of maple syrup that has sparkly glitter in it so you can have sparkly pancakes. I feel like Nika would appreciate sparkly pancakes. Pancakes are one of my favorite foods. Excellent, Sirius Inc. That's the spirit. Have amazing pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Birthday pancakes? That, sound, that sounds like a good idea. That checks out. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. I also have pancakes. In fact, if you watched me play Earthbound... <laughs> Pancake was my favorite food. Nico, you and me have this in common. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yes, I do. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Yes, yes, <laughs> actually legitimately pancakes are one of my favorite foods. I don't eat pancakes often enough anymore. I should change that. Why don't I eat pancakes more often? That's a good question. Yes. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. Yes, pancake. It was all I could fit for pancake. 10 pancakes is a lot for a very small child. Hi, Dominic. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going through it at, like, lightning fast speeds, apparently. So, for better or for worse, I suspect I've missed a lot, which I had a little angsting over, but... I don't know if I could eat 10 pancakes. It depends on if they're, like, silver dollar pancakes. Because those are small, so you can eat more of them. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. Man. That makes sense, Blue Glass, actually. That, that Nico is just admitted to being 10 years old because you have to eat a pancake for every year of birthday. All right. And oh, one of our neighbors all makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yes, I do. There's the lady next door with her kids. There's the guy down the hall with his dog. And there's the couple down the other hall with two Great Danes. They're my favorite neighbors. Their dogs are amazing. <laughs> oh, do they share their food with you? Yes, actually, I organized a potluck for my building earlier at the beginning of the summer. Ours do too. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Okay, that is a little bit more than I uh, than I have ever done. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching little kids. Oh no, Nico is from a a community that actually values community. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. Because you're grown up, aren't you? I'm old enough to help out. No wonder they take responsibility so seriously, though. Everyone in their life has taken responsibility seriously. And they have always believed that it is their... Like, that it will be their job to do the same thing. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. I hope they're okay. Speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. I am worried about Nico's home. Their little lake. Too good to be true. Life. 
Okay, yeah, so this guy does time you. 11 minutes of work already. Well, too bad, buddy. You're stuck with me and I like to talk. Do you live here, robot? Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I, model 8XM home security bot TM serial number 39232B839W4 will have to report you. Oh, sorry. I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspicious activities detected, zero. Yes. Nico is trustworthy, honest, and good. Well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad. Lauren, someone lives here. We can't just sleep in their bed. <laughs> Let's sleep in the king's bed. Thanks, Final Fantasy IV. It's like a studio apartment. No kitchen, though. It's off. Hmm. I am still monitoring you. Alert level has been set to low. Don't worry, I promise I'll be a good guest. Landscape painting. An abstract painting. Hmm. It's interesting that the computer is in like the one place that has window. They've got a lot of art. It's a wall of family photos. Are you human? You look human, not like a robot. Dot 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Nico's excited about this. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a child. Oh. It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. <laughs> that is a cursed sound. Cursed sheepies, cursed penguins. Hello, penguin? Hello. 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 <laughs> Amazing. Oh my goodness. It's a pink flower. Nico does not approve. It's a pink flower. This sad kid does not want to speak to me. I guess the rest of the family might be missing. A picture of many ones and zeros. A painting of four robots playing cards. So the robots are the family that lives here. Or maybe this is robot and human. Hello, would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Hmm, do you know rock, paper, scissors? Desired difficulty level. Huh? Desired duration of turns. 
Uh, please set your timer. Never mind. My parents are like literally never home, but I don't mind. I'm used to it. Besides, I've got model CWT second gen unit 4E here to keep me company now. She still talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay. She's learning. If I work real hard, she might even be tame someday. I keep hearing that word. What, tame? Mm-hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. That's just a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. Oh. Okay. A pile of large books. One of them is a robot instruction manual. It's off. What game would you like to play? How about hide and seek? Desired difficulty level? Well, maybe not too easy. Initiating, ruthless mode. Target locked. You have exactly 14 seconds. Start running. Oh, I'm not sure if I wanna play anymore. Oh, Nico. Oh, session abort. Are you feeling unwell? No, it's not that. What game would you like to play? Oh, pass. Oh, that's cute and sad. Hi, Splinch, welcome. So these are all kids that have been left here and their parents never come home. And this kid is depressed and doesn't talk. It only has a very sad and disturbing penguin. And here's the robot that doesn't trust us, but apparently no kids. Um, playing, playing one shot. Oh, there's a plant. I guess we're in the bathroom. Uh... There's some scissors. A small potted plant. It's a sink. Soap dispenser. They do try to make sure that you don't miss the, uh... Did somebody cut all their hair off? Is that what this is? There's a pair of scissors on the ground. On a pile of hair? I don't think anyone's using it anymore, so I wonder I wonder if we'll see who that hair belongs to. Not you, wrong color. Not you, wrong color. Who cut all their hair off in a frustrated fit? I guess we'll have to make a ground button because we have ground coffee, so we're gonna have to cut the tin and put it into the button slot, probably. The door is locked from the inside. Huh. All right. There's a whole lot of options of places I can't go. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna try to grow this plant. There's no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? Where will I, where do I get dirt? I'm on the quest for dirt. Before I can cut the pot open and get the word ground off of it, I have to try to use it to get water or dirt.
Yeah, there's no... There's gotta be a way somehow. I feel like past Lauren did the thing with the plant right, but I don't remember how. Oh, that is a person with a time face. It's a small tree. It's a small tree. Good evening. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. <laughs> A clock face. Oh my god, Wooper, you're probably right. Oh, that's terrible. Good evening. Your time here is precious. Please do cherish it. I will. They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use, though. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually, the surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing and can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Oh, never mind. I am only able to fix issues in this building. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay. Some kind of computer terminal. A stapler. It's bolted to the table. A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. This sounds really ominous. never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of this world's population lives here. And they go look at the balcony. It does look like a modern city, doesn't it? But there's no light. Like there's this reddish glow from this artificial light, but you can really see the darkness, the, the absence of light. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. Wow, this goes on. Dot, dot, dot. What about you, Lauren? Where do you live? I live in a city. I live downtown. You can pick a city, a village, or someplace else. I'll go with a city. A city like this? Wow. I can't imagine living in a city. Must be exciting and kind of scary. The view is nice, though. Yeah. It is. <laughs> That's funny, Violet Square. All right, so I get the feeling that this just loops.
Let's see. Yeah, so I guess this is just for you to walk and talk to them. Yeah. Well, that was still really sweet. A heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. So, I, I am concerned about progressing the big plot and not being able to tend to the plant. But I guess if that happens, it happens. I'm not sure at this point who else I could talk to or what else I could do. This place feels so ominous. Right, and that's probably to put together my my ground button that will somehow work because the child believes in it so much. I have this is a really good song. I need dirt. talk to the creepy computer which may or may not do anything I'm pretty sure Toby Fox must have been very inspired by this game You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Huh. That's interesting. Take it to the void. Hmm. be something I can do to help her like I don't want to cut up the can until I bring her I feel like there's something else I can do but I don't know what it is I don't want to have to cut up the can unless I know I don't need the can I suspect that I sus like if I were making a game with a good ending or a bad ending I would have a good ending have something to do with that the door is locked from the inside what have I got weird film a transparent sheet filled with numbers okay no I can't drag it into the void I mean, I guess I can if I shut the game down. It's probably what we're supposed to do. I just... Oh, so you think that this was inspired by Undertale. Okay. I wasn't sure on the timing. I knew Undertale wasn't out when this came out but I suppose if Toby Fox had been working on it. 
then again, the demo didn't have a lot of the meta stuff in it, did it? The demo only goes through very early. Not to spoil Undertale stuff for people. Can't turn the sink on. Oh, there are other games that had only the one playthrough. Okay. That's not normally a sort of thing that I would want to do. Even though I play... It was reverse inspired by Undertale where they were like, oh shoot, we've got to make sure that people can tell the difference between our game and Undertale. That makes sense. All right, well, I don't know if there's another thing to do or not. So in the name of embracing my imperfect playthrough, maybe I should solve the puzzle in the way that I think I'm supposed to solve the puzzle. How long have I been making you wait? 33 minutes, buddy. More of those squares. I don't know, man. I guess. This is a cafe, right? Yeah. I am glad that they break up the music with these like little interludes, some of which are much more I think as opposed to this sort of ominous I mean this is also ominous but it's not what I want now I think okay hold on oh maybe we can but make a button of this I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape just like arts and crafts huh I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out. Button? Question mark. It says ground. The tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. A stapler. It's bolted to the table. Oh. Well, I thought... I thought that that would make sense. If we miss it, we miss it. Hmm. The thing is, I don't want to go down to the ground yet. The button fits snugly in the slot, but... I'm not sure how to connect it. Hmm. All I know is that the button works by some kind of magnetic technology. Don't ask me how magnets work, though. I didn't even finish high school. Magnets. I don't know. How do I find magnets? Oh, I guess probably with the hint from that computer. Good evening. Yes. Still clueless? Figures. Want another tip? No. Fine, keep at it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. That's interesting. Hey, Countess Lita. How's it going? What have you what have you been up to? What have you been playing? I have been playing this extremely adorable and very sad feeling little game. The thing is, it hasn't been like 
aggressively openly sad really there's just been this um sense of impending doom you know i don't know although actually now that i look at the time it's 10 o'clock which is when i usually shut down and i'm currently feeling a little bit i'm feeling a little bit stressed out and i know that this is a silly thing to be stressed out over um but like, when you play a game that only gives you one shot to play through it, and you know that people want you, like, want to tune in because they know that they can count on you to be pretty thorough and stuff, um, I feel, I don't know. I worry really badly. So the thing is, so I don't have generalized anxiety, but I have very specific learned anxiety um, that I am very anxious about letting people down or making other people unhappy with me. Um, <laughs> so that is something that I am I am sensitive about worrying about that. Um, and I also kind of can't help but feel the ghost of Lauren six years ago playing this game. If that makes sense. Like... It's a strange sensation because it was a long time ago at this point. That's like literally over half a decade. Um, and it's interesting to think of having gone through the same game and I don't remember it. Like, I, I guess maybe on some subconscious level I do, but I think the puzzles are fairly straightforward. Um... If I remembered things, I wouldn't have gone through the main plot, main path in the Glen the first try. <laughs> because I wanted to avoid plot progression. And if I'd remembered how to progress the plot, I would have avoided doing it. But instead, I accidentally progressed the plot. Um, but... I don't know, man. It is a sweet, strange, sad little game. Okay. Yeah, well, the, um, when I opened up the game and, uh, Nico said, Lauren, I was standing in, I think, the city somewhere. It looked kind of like that anyway. Um, but we deleted that save because that was from a different Lauren multiple computers ago. <laughs> For better or for worse, I have lost that, Lauren, so we might as well have a fresh playthrough of this game. I guess fortunately, compared to like the Deltarune chapters that are out there, and so people can can see and compare it, um, where it's kind of, it, there's something kind of surreal and a bit odd um, about... Um, other people remembering things that I did and I don't remember the things that I did that's a little bit a little bit disconcerting not in a way that's like bad or that anyone shouldn't do it it's just it's one of those weird experiences that I think a lot of people don't have to deal with that um but uh but here this one we, we lost that stream forever because if we hadn't I would have just played the second half of it um when I booted it up and and uh, finished it and we would have just the record of past Lauren who I do not recall playing through the game but I was like well we'll see if I forget it because apparently I had a prophecy that I would lose my memory <laughs> um no Nico is probably one of the cutest main characters I've ever encountered in anything ever and the bird children were ridiculously cute. I assume that one of them must have been the bird person that I vaguely remembered. <laughs> Prophet flute, yes. Um, but it's, it's very sweet. There are sweet characters. But it feels very, very short and to the point as well. And I'm, I'm wondering... I think part of it is that I worry that I'm going to have... The emotional experience other people have. I, I, I'm worried whether it's because of 
where I am as a person emotionally right now or what. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself, but apparently I do. That is one thing that I know, I know I was concerned about six years ago. So that's something that hasn't changed. Um, but yeah, I think I might go ahead and shut down a bit. Um, shut down a bit. Shut down here. Be before I get too, uh, too tired and, and sad. <laughs> And I know I'm laughing, um, but I have been I have been dealing with with some sadness, um, so that's how it goes sometimes. We'll see. We'll see what happens next week. I will not be streaming on either Tuesday or Thursday because I'm going to do um, Thanksgiving with my family, and I'm going to be getting there earlier than usual um, to help my family out with stuff. Um, but I will be back the following week. I don't know what day that is, but whatever day that is. Um, so look forward to that. I will be streaming this Thursday. Um, so, uh, so yeah, if you are interested in watching the Disco Elysium stream, feel free to tune in then. Um, otherwise I will see you folks in two weeks. Please take care of yourselves. Um, be good and, um, take care. Bye.